Hey fam, today we've got a super exciting video because we are going to be building 2021's Christmas Village Edition Santa's Visit. I'm super excited to get into this thing. Let's take a look. This 18 plus set, set number 10293, comes with 1,445 pieces. This includes a brand new Santa Claus print. One of the highlighting features of this set is that the lights and ornaments on the Christmas tree will actually light up via a light brick. Santa Claus, of course, has a ramp from the chimney down into the living room where he can slide down with his sack full of presents. And without further ado, let's just jump into the build. The box has the thumb tabs, which I think is a nice touch considering that you're going to be putting this set back and putting it into storage every year, most likely. One of the first things that I notice is that every single bag is an individual bag, meaning that there's no smaller bags that go with the larger bags. This is the same case with the Harry Potter icon set which honestly gets me super excited because I really like to keep my organization on straight and this helps a huge amount. Let's take a look at bag number one and the instruction booklets. Now, as most of you know, I strictly use online instructions, unless of course, like with this set, we get an early release, which means that the instructions are not available online. Now, to my surprise, there were two instruction books, and I figured out why. This is because bag number one really does feel like its own little mini build. Inside of the main instruction book, you've got a lot of really cool information on the design process and the Christmas Village series as a whole. In this video, we are going to be focusing specifically on the mini build inside of bag one. The first piece of the build that you'll tackle is the dad of the set. The minifig is comprised of six pieces. A headpiece, a hairpiece, torsos, leg scarf, and a letter to the North Pole. As a dad who lives and breathes for Christmas time and who spends a considerable amount of time preparing letters to Santa, this minifig embodies me, of course without the receding hairline. After that, you dive into creating the fence and front yard of the family home. A simple part of the build that could have easily been overlooked by the design team actually has a couple standout features. The mailbox is a surprisingly intricate studs on the side build, and the lantern pole is adorned with a beautiful poinsettia. The frosted round brick that goes into the lantern is a subtle but beautiful detail. When you complete the front yard, you shift your focus onto the brick-built Christmas tree, which truly steals the show for bag one. The base of the tree houses one of LEGO's infamous light bricks. You build the trunk and branches of the tree by alternating green slopes with small colored ornaments made of round circular 1x1 one one studs and clear plates. If it's not abundantly obvious, the clear plates are placed perfectly to allow the light from the light brick to give the tree the appearance of Christmas lights. Unfortunately, while the tree's appearance is beautiful, there is no solid way to connect the tree to the base or to the light brick inside. While this allows you to press down on the tree to ignite the lights, it also means that the tree, base, and light brick are all very easily separated, and I foresee issues when needing to move the tree around or put it away in storage. The final piece to bag one is to fill the base of the tree with festive Christmas presents. My absolute favorite present is the brick-built trumpet. The ingenious design of the trumpet is centered around a simple bar piece with two clips on it with a binocular piece on the rear and a modified round tile on the front. You also build a beautiful toy rocket ship and a series of various gift boxes. Overall, this set was incredibly fun and felt like its own mini build. 
Just a reminder, we are giving away one of these sets once we hit 10,000 followers on our Instagram. If you want to win, head on over there and check it out. Let's go.